Hey, what's happening everybody? Thanks so much for checking into today's video. Today I have a new unboxing from, as you might be able to guess, Under Armour. And this is a pair I picked up uh, last week, I guess it was, when I was up in Washington State. And I don't know if you guys might have any of these stores near you, but this Under Armour store in particular has everything that's like always on super discounts. It's not just a regular outlet store. Um, it has like everything in the store, for example, is 50% off and then uh, shoes were 40% off. So uh, I picked up this Under Armour, I can do all things, Curry shirt for like $5, picked up another Under Armour shirt for like $6. And then these where you can see they were $69.97 and they were 40% off that. So uh, actually on their website, they're like 115 right now, which is seriously a significant difference uh, being able to pick these up for 40 or $42 rather than 115. So that's why I consider them a sneaker deal and that's why I wanted to show them to you guys today. Um, so if you can read the box, you might have a guess of what they are, but if not, here we go. So these are the Under Armour Hover Summit uh, TXTs. I think that's right. Oh, Hover Summit Urban TXTs, sorry. Uh, and these are a shoe that I've had my eye on for a while. There's a couple different versions of this particular shoe. Uh, this one in particular has um, some, some different textile pieces, whereas other ones have suede. And I guess it's basically just your prerogative on which one you want to go with. But I thought this was a really nice colorway and something that I would be more than willing to wear like on a pretty often basis, which is why I ended up going with this one rather than some of the other colorways that they had available. Um, and they also had my size. This one fit a little bit better than the 11, um, which they didn't have as many colorways as available in. So, that's why I went with this one and I was really happy with it because like I said, I have had my eye on these for a while and there's a lot of really nice features to this design. So you guys might be able to guess that they reuse this tooling from a previous Under Armour shoe. And basically what Under Armour has done is they had worked with um, a group called the Foot Soldiers, which is like a design consultancy. Um, and they work on different designs for different brands. And basically they linked up with Under Armour to create this upper for the shoe. And they really knocked it out of the park if you ask me. Um, there's so many cool features and there's really nice materials uh, on this one. So there's some of the biggest things that you might notice about the shoe. Here are the heel cage and the heel cage is like a, a TPU structure. Uh, also has the eyelets here on the top too. And then really closely, if you look, there's also some mid speckling um, details, just kind of a little bit of an extra finish that you want, you really realize once you get closer and kind of uh, take a closer look at these shoes, which is nice. And then as we go to the quarter panel, the quarter has this uh, rubberized uh, logo patch on it, kind of like this trapezoid shape. And it has the Under Armour logo as well as some coordinates on there. And I don't know if they're like the coordinates of the, of the Under Armour headquarters or what they might be for, but uh, I will do some research and I'll let you guys know as well. And then, um, so this is where I mentioned the differences between this one and some other ones. So here on the toe cap, this one has a really large hot melt overlay on the toe cap. And hot melt's really nice on this one. I like the way that the uh, the material is so like large underneath that you really get a nice texture um, on the hot melt. And then <clears throat> I also like the uh, little hint of mint green with the bar tack stitch here to hold uh, the rest of this sidewall in uh, for the upper. Then probably my favorite part of the shoe, and there's a lot of nice details that go on when it comes to this piece, but um, basically you guys can see on the, the eye row or the throat of the shoe that has a really unique shape to it. So you guys can see that it's a little more angular and, and fast moving and fast looking than uh, your traditional throat. Most throats are a little more rounded and uh, more symmetrical. I like that this one is asymmetrical, even though the shoe is primarily symmetrical, um, minus the fact that the medial doesn't have this uh, rubberized logo patch on it. But you guys can see the, the way that they did the, um, the tongue and the booty construction on this one is really nice as well. But uh, the tongue here, the shape is a little bit asymmetrical with this Under Armour logo. The front having a, a like, kind of skewed angle towards the uh, lateral side. And then this doubles over and it has like a metallic or a um, reflective finish to this piece here, which is cool. And then the coolest part to me is the way they had these uh, center eye loops and basically rather than the laces going all the way across they only go partially across and then they kind of double back uh, which makes it a little bit more unique than your traditional lacing system and then like I mentioned the inner booty construction is really nice and they have a really nice um, cushion or not cushioning um, foam inside the uh, booty and as well on the heel piece which these are both really nice it's kind of interesting the way that the, the foam is where the 
the lighter pieces are, it's actually more foam and then the darker pieces, there's really not much foam there, but it still feels really nice and it gives it a cool little pattern to it as well. And you guys can also see here now that we have the heel, uh, there's this uh, nylon webbing as well as a little suede patch and then on the underlay of the uh, collar and there is a, some suede as well, so which is really nice. Um, one other fe feature that I noticed about this shoe that I haven't seen on a lot of other shoes is the um, if you take this insole out, under the insole, the stirrable part of the shoe almost seems like it's a foam, so it adds a little bit extra cushioning, which I don't see with a lot of other shoes or I've never actually really seen in any other shoes. So uh, I want to do some more investigation on that and see how they pulled that off because I don't think it was easy. Um, but that's all that being said, I have featured this shoe previously on Sneaker Deals of the Day because I, like I said, it, from the beginning, it was something that I was watching already and I uh, happened to pick them up uh, recently. But if you guys are interested in this shoe or any other shoes that you want to try and find for good deals, please head over to Sneaker Deals of the Day website, which you guys can find in the link description, uh, the link to this in the description below, as well as the Instagram page. And basically, if you're not familiar with it, it's a daily update of a different shoe that I find that I post for you guys so you guys can add to your collection and save some money. Uh, there's different discounts that go on all the time on different websites. So basically just searching for those and providing the best one that I can for the day for you guys. Um, and really that's what my whole channel and my whole uh, motivation for doing this is all about. So thanks so much for checking in. Hope you guys have a chance to do that and I will see you again for another unboxing soon.